Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, The Realms in Exile, the Lord of the Rings mod. I'm Lord Porn, and we are here as... I'm just going to call him Emperor Balin the Righteous. Um, so, uh, it's, been a, it's been a while since my last recording session. So, uh, this is a new round of stuff. Um, from what I can see, uh, people are more than willing to let me continue. <laughs> It's not like you guys would stop me. Um, I'm more than happy to let me continue, even though I did inherit Erebor. Um, I also want to say I did do another run on my own to check, and I also inherited Erebor. So I don't know what's going on with the game, but it seems like you have a very high chance of inheriting Erebor as Balin if you stay alive, despite the fact that, like, Dane's children survive. Also, Dane dying of old age significantly younger than Balin is pretty typical. So, um, just to give you an update on what the plan is, um, we're going to keep slowly working our way along the mountain lane here to Gundabad and stuff, because Erebor itself, the throne of Erebor, is probably the richest province in the game fully upgraded. Um, it's absolutely amazing. So I don't want to give it up, because if I gave it up and went back to Moria, I'd have to then conquer it. Um, if I go with the mission of trying to unite all the dwarf holds, which people seem to be a fan of. So in terms of dwarf stuff, um, we've got the fire beards, some long beards, we've got broad beams over there. Um, and then down south here, we have the black locks. And apparently the axes of Nargobra, whatever this is. Warmed in two. <laughs> it's been around for a little while. Um, I'm not sure if there are any other dwarves tucked away any other places. So right now the rough plan is to keep conquering the mountains, keep colonizing Moria. I can't be part of the struggle until I can either move my capital back, which would happen after Balin dies, or I colonize enough area in the struggle region to join it again. Also, that river thing's still a problem. Um, yeah, so right now we don't have enough stuff in the struggle reason to join. Um, so this is going to be a interesting, an interesting run. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, Gladriel's at war with these guys, and she is currently winning. We are currently colonizing the... Whatever this is. The Iron Gap. Awesome name, by the way. Just whoever came up with that among the game uh, mod creators. Awesome name for the area. And we're going to negoti negotiate an alliance with our heir. We have armor, right? Yeah, we've got long beard mail. So we already have legendary armor. I don't think we need another one. But I will start a colony here. Speaking of which, what's going on in Moria? I forget. Um, oh, yes, we do have a delving. We have several delvings here. Okay. Um... Guess we'll build a terrace farm. So we could, if we want to, try to declare war on these guys, but they're allied with Goblin Town and Good and Bad. So we can't really attack them yet because we're not strong enough. That's why I haven't been invading them. Okay. Always a good idea to refresh your memory after not playing for a little while. Also, thank you to all the people watching this. I'm impressed that so many people are uh, interested in watching a another run it's a very fun mod so I can't I can't really blame you guys um, quite fun I'm also having a lot of demands for doing like an elf run afterwards um, I already did an elf run a while back as Thranduil and I think I did did I do one as Galadriel? 
I can't remember. Anyway, I've played Galadriel for sure, and she's probably the easiest of the elves to play. To the point it's almost too easy to play Galadriel. Um, sure, we'll sponsor that inspiration. Ah oh, yes, Balin is still learning how to mine. That's working away. Third of Erebor is going down a level. We're becoming an expedition leader. Hmm. So we'll do that one. Oh, yes. Uh, duh. I need to develop. Okay. Increase the development in that area. Helps if I actually remember to do that. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. We're still going to ask him to convert to our faith if possible. Okay, just to make a slightly more unified looking map. We have nothing against the other dwarven face. This is a plague nearby. Ah, oh, there is. Skull of the Stalking Wolf of Throne of Erebor. That's a very long name for not much. Oh, we lost the... Uh... Artifact. That's too bad. Um, old court. We don't actually have a court physician, do we? I love the fact that a uh, court physician can cost more than a whole new, like, castle or a city or something. Because that makes so much sense, doesn't it? I think there should be a cap for how much you pay a single physician. Especially now that you have to hire them for plague management. Okay, that's going to take a little while to build up. So let's see what else we can work on in the short run. Three more years on Erebor. Ooh, new dynasty legacy. Yes, give us the Sons of Mahal. It's actually kind of interesting that, um, I wonder what drove Tolkien J.R.R. to do to create the Dwarven, um, creator god being Aule, being a benevolent creator, um, who really actually seems to care for the dwarves, unlike some of the other, um, other ones.
Of course, he doesn't tend to do much. Mm, that's just a problem with Tolkien's universe in general. Okay, these... I think we can spend a little bit to speed up dev time in these provinces. There we go. We've embraced prolific hunters? Oh, this must have been done by... by Dane. Huh. Interesting. Mining expedition. Grab your pickaxes, boys. We're going prospecting. We've already found all the ones there, so... Actually, you know what? Let's go mining instead, then, if we can get away with it. We'll just mine in our capital. <laughs> Why not? See if we can make some cash out of it. Although I do find it funny, we have to do an expedition to go mining in our capital. We can't, you know, just walk out the door and go down to the mines. Oh, we could start a legend. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna path on that. True son of Erebor is now recognized. Oh, nice. Or, well, it's actually gone down, so not so nice, but... Certainly interesting. What does mining trading give me? Interesting. Hurry up and get out of my mines. Well, we gained a very small amount. But I think we probably leveled up miner? No, we leveled, we got halfway. Getting there. Let's see what's going on here. Since we've got a good chunk of cash, let's delve deeper once I upgrade that. Someone's plotting to kill my courtier. I'm not very worried. Okay, we got some more construction kills. This one should be done in 16 months. And it is actually spreading fairly, fairly quickly to its neighbors. Ten months left on Erebor itself. Okay. Help the sun's territory out a little bit. Because unlike last run, we shouldn't end up with tons of uh, unremovable territories. That was a disaster. And we've already gone deeper with our delvings. That's nice. Someone's plotting to kill my champion now. Hmm. Completing the upgrade in Erebor added, I think, like five gold a month to our income. 
Quite nice. Okay, feudalize to castle. Move you to the next target. Grant this away. Okay, let's check on Moria. See if these guys have lost the alliances. Oh wait, goblins don't really die of old... Uh, orcs don't really die of old age, so this could go on for quite some time. But we can colonize this mountain pass. Come on, game. There we go. Oh, we just inherited Dimral Dale. Oh, Miramir. Ah, oh, he's of the Miramir dynasty. We've got the best, one of the best weapons in the game. We've already got decent armor. I don't think we need to sponsor any more creations. Although, I don't know if it's like a bug in vanilla or what, but I don't ever get events to get thrones anymore. Oh, new perk. Mining expedition. We'll just keep mining, I guess. See if we can get a ton of gold. Plus, it keeps Balin's stress down, strangely enough. So I get better mining success chance if I only give resources to the guy I mine with rather than telling the whole party. Five percent income increase? Yes, please. Uh, um, prize ring has low durability. We'll repair that. Erebor can get, yes, that done. Paradise regains, nice cash. Hmm, got a hundred something. Did that push us over the... No, it didn't. Someday we'll get him leveled up. Apparently not for a little while. That is upgrading. That is actually fairly developed thanks to Gladriel's existence. Gladriel is sending us poetry. How lovely. Oh, and we're getting raided again. Of course we are. I can't wait till I can smash those armies. We're no longer under siege. There you go. Of course, the biggest issue I think with Moria right now is that it's not as valuable as Erebor. I get the game creators did a lot, but they really, really should go back and add some more interesting buildings to Moria. If worse comes to worse, take inspiration from the um, Rings of Power, which even though I definitely did not like that series, they did a decent job with their depiction of Moria. Okay, we can also upgrade our men at arms at some point. 
How are we doing with culture? We're doing urbanization. And then we'll work our way up. Okay. Oh, I didn't cancel colonize. So, let's go here, I guess. Well, actually, no, let's just go here. Because we got to get rid of dragons anyway. My armor is like tenfold shields, my teeth are swords, my claws spear, the shock of my tail is a thunderbolt, and my wings a hurricane, and my breath, death. It's a very descriptive line. Mining again. At some point we'll have to start doing some mining in Erebor, but I'm going to wait until I can get my, uh, sorry, Moria, not Erebor. Uh, let's wait till we can get our capital back in Moria. That way we don't have to spend, you know, like six months traveling there. Oh, nice. Good chunk of gold. That guy really... Really wants me to, um... Spread his legend. Okay, we finally made it to Minor level 1. You were. Middle Earth's bounty increased that for sure. What? What? I think we may have found another glitch. Now that's working, but this isn't working. Why? Ah. Uh, that could be a problem. If worse comes to worse, we, we can try abandoning it and then recolonizing it, but... It's very strange. Development growth modifiers are massively negative. Let's abandon it. Recolonize it. Nope. That is weird. We don't seem to be able to properly colonize it. Wait, what's this? They can have mines on the surface? I don't remember that being a thing. Hmm. I really like that. That is interesting. Yeah, see, it won't let me do it here, but that one has a... Uh... Huh. Weird. Uh, we gotta hold court quickly. Grab your pickaxes, boys. We're going underground. Okay. Well, that's actually going to be it for this episode. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that territory over here. Um, that's a bit of an issue for us. And, uh... 
Sorry we didn't expand or conquer that much this episode. Um, we're kind of at that weird state where we're strong, but we're not strong enough to charge headlong into some of these areas. Or we might be, but I don't feel safe enough to do so yet. So, see you guys all next time, and hopefully we'll conquer something then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.